Hi, and welcome to Inside City of Hamilton. I'm Kat Cullen. Did you know nine out of 10 kids in the city of Hamilton are not correctly secured in their car seats? This can lead to injury, long-term disability, and even death. So today we're gonna chat with Dr. Magani about how to keep your kids safe. When used correctly, a car seat can reduce the risk of injury or death by 75%. Well, the first stage is using a rear-facing car seat. With young babies, it is important to make sure that the car seat is installed at a 45-degree angle. This prevents the baby's head from falling forward and restricting her breathing. Most cars have an adjustable base which can help achieve that 45-degree angle. Pool noodles are also a good idea, or you can use a roll towel, and that can be placed under the base of a car seat if needed. After the car seat is installed, it's important to make sure that it is tightly secured. The tightness can be checked by grabbing both sides of the car seat at the belt and trying to move it. It shouldn't move more than one inch. The tightness of the car seat harness is also very important. You should only be able to fit one finger between the child's collarbone and the car seat harness. The chest clip needs to be in line with the child's armpits. For older children in a forward-facing car seat, it's important to use a tether strap. The strap can be found at the top of the car seat and must be attached to a special anchor in the vehicle. The vehicle manual will tell you where it's located. It's important to note that car seats and booster seats can expire. They are usually good for about five to nine years, but you should check the date on your expiry sticker or call the car seat manufacturer for more information. Car seats can also be recalled, so it's a good idea to mail in your registration card to the manufacturer and they will let you know if there's a problem with the car seat and if it needs to be recalled. So today we learned a few tips on how to keep your children safe in their car seats. For more information, you can call the Health Connections phone line or visit them on the web. For Inside City of Hamilton, I'm Kat Cullen.